We've got some shocking news about the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Note 20, and I'll be sharing the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe, followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter by clicking the links in the description. So we've got a huge amount of leaks this week when it comes to the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. Mostly good news and some that could be considered bad, but it looks like another incredible smartphone for Note fans. Before we get into it though, please like the video if you're looking forward to the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and let me know in the comments which one you're waiting for and if not, what phone are you waiting for? So we're going to start off with maybe the most talked about leak this week and that is of course no Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Many are looking at this as a bad thing but in actual fact nothing has changed at all. The leak comes from Ross Young who is the CEO of Display Supply Chain Consultants. While I've only heard of him recently he does now have the backing of credible leaker Ice Universe who has classed his information as highly accurate leaks. Now Ross Young's tweet was straight to the point and said no Galaxy Note 20 Ultra Ultra, but the Galaxy Fold 2 is going to be your Ultra. While many have been quick to be disappointed, nothing has actually changed. We saw an Ultra model in the S range, but we have to remember there were three variants released. With the Note, we had two last year and we'll be getting two again, which is of course going to be the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Galaxy Note 20 Plus. The naming of the devices make no difference to the specs, so there's really nothing to worry about. We've also had more leaks from Ross about the Galaxy Note 20 and it's set to have the best display ever. The Galaxy Note 20 is reported to have a 120Hz high resolution OLED display that also uses much lower power to save on battery. Unfortunately, this is also an area where we have some good news and some bad. If we start with the standard Galaxy Note 20, and this is of course the smaller model, Ross advised that the Galaxy Note 20 is going to come with a 6.42 inch display, which is actually a little jump up from its predecessor's 6.3. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 has a resolution of 2345 by 1084 and an aspect ratio of 19.5 by 9. This gives us a high quality display with 404 pixels per inch, and Ross advised that it is going to be LTE. LTPO. For those that don't know, LTPO stands for Low Temperature Polycrystalline Oxide and it's essentially a display that uses less power than the traditional methods. While Ross originally advised us that it would be a 120Hz LTPO display, he's now backtracked a little and states while the Galaxy Note 20 Plus will have this technology, the Note 20 is only going to have a 60Hz LTPS display. LTPS is a low temperature polycrystalline silicon and cheaper to produce than the LTPO. So while that may be bad news for some, when it comes to the Galaxy Note 20 Plus, all we've got for you is good news. To start with, those who like bigger displays are going to be happy as the screen size is going to be 6.87 inches, which is slightly up from its predecessor's 6.8. For those that don't want the phone to be any bigger, we have to remember that the Galaxy Note 20 bezels should also be smaller, so the overall size could be very similar. The Galaxy Note 20 Plus's 6.87 inch display is going to have a resolution of of 3096 by 1444 and an aspect ratio of 19.3 by 9 which gives us 497 pixels per inch. It's going to be a 120Hz LTPO OLED display and it's going to have a variable refresh rate meaning it can drop to 60Hz when not required then when using an app that supports high refresh rates it can ramp it up to 120Hz. This feature along with the LTPO display should help increase the battery performance. Many are of course pitting it as the competition with the new iPhone, saying its display will have to be better. Now we all know Apple will market theirs as the best and new technology, but I would like to think that the Note 20 Plus will of course have the better display. Of course, Samsung is manufacturing the displays for the premium iPhones, but that doesn't necessarily mean they will be better. Samsung displays are a separate business to Samsung Electronics, so they won't lose out on profit to ensure the Note 20 is better, but given that the Note 20 is the most premium of Samsung's range, then we hope they do use the best display they have. 
As many of you know though, the Note is actually my favourite smartphone from Samsung. While I don't always purchase one, I do always want it. This year we're going to see improved displays, batteries, hardware and camera. We haven't got much longer to wait until it's fully unveiled. We're going to run through all of the specs of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 Plus, but for my regular viewers you would have already seen it, so I just use switch off now. If you're new here, then don't forget to hit subscribe and we'll get right into it. Of course, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is going to be an incredible smartphone and actually one of my favourite releases this year. We'll likely see improved design, display, cameras and more, but for anyone who's missed my previous videos, we're going to quickly run through what we can expect. For my regular viewers, you would have already seen this, so just switch off now. But for anyone new here, we're going to run through everything we know so far about the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. While well, the Note was always much bigger than the S range in the past, things have been changing lately, so it's going to be interesting to see what screen sizes we get with the Galaxy Note 20. Last year we had the Note in two sizes which were 6.3 inch and 6.8 inch displays. We then had a light model come later with a 6.7 inch display. Given that the S range has massively increased in size, with a 6.9 inch display now coming, I'm going to estimate that we could see a Galaxy Note 20 with at least a 7 inch display. Now of course smartphone sizes are generally getting larger, so phablet sizes are going to rise too. Given the success of last year's Notes, I'm also going to predict that we'll be getting a Galaxy Note 20 along with a Galaxy Note 20 Plus. We haven't had any solid leaks or information when it comes to displays, but I'm going to predict a 6.5 inch display on the Galaxy Note 20 and a 7 inch display on the Galaxy Note 20 Plus. I'm expecting both models to be 1440 by 3200 resolution and that will be a 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display. We're no doubt going to see an in-display fingerprint scanner along with Gorilla Glass 6 for protection. Now, when it comes to the selfie camera, the Note line actually led the innovation for Samsung last year. It's going to be interesting to see whether they stick with the punch hole camera top center or if the Galaxy Note 20 comes with a new design altogether. Many are curious whether in display cameras are going to be available for consumers and when Samsung have this technology ready. My guess would be introducing it on the Note line, but unfortunately, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is probably a little bit too early for this tech and it's likely going to be something thing we see in 2021. When it comes to the rear of the Samsung Galaxy Note 11 or the Galaxy Note 20 as it may be called, I've got no doubts that we're going to see a rectangular camera housing. Samsung have stuck with this across their mid-range and their flagships this year, so the Note 20 should be no different. Samsung have also been getting a lot more adventurous with their cameras, so I'm going to predict that we'll get a 108 megapixel ISOCELL sensor with pixel binning technology. We'll get a periscope lens with some incredible zoom capabilities, we'll get an ultra wide angle for those wide shots, and we'll also get a 3D time of flight depth sensor. We'll also no doubt see better camera sensors on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Plus compared to the standard Note 20. In the hardware department, we know the Galaxy Note 20 is going to be powered by the Snapdragon 865 in North America and the Exynos 990 globally. We'll see up to 512 gigs of internal storage with up to 16 gigabytes of RAM and it will of course be expandable with a micro SD card. Given the larger size, the Galaxy Note 20 Plus is expected to have a battery capacity of 5200 mAh, while the Galaxy Note 20 is going to be around 4300. Of course, both Galaxy Note 20s are going to be running Android 10 in the form of One UI 2 and it will be IP68 water resistant. The Galaxy Note 20 is expected to come with stereo speakers and no 3.5mm headphone jack. And most importantly for Note fans, it will be coming with the much loved S Pen using Bluetooth 5. We haven't had any leaks on the upcoming S Pen, but it's no doubt going to be more refined with new hardware and software features. The Galaxy Note 20 is set to be an incredible device and judging by recent years we can expect the Galaxy Note 20 to launch at the start of August 2020 and release towards the end of the month. When it comes to pricing, it will of course be an expensive device. Prices are expected to start at about $1100 to $1200 for the standard Note 20 and around $1400 to $1500 for the Galaxy Note 20 Plus or Galaxy Note 20 Ultra as it may also be called. Given the success of this year's light models, it's also likely that we'll get a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Lite released further down the line. 
It's a great time to be a Samsung fan with so many phones being released by the company. We've got a huge selection in the A range, the Premium S and the Note line on top of the Galaxy Fold and the Galaxy Z Flip phone. Now I have to say the Z Flip phone is the only one that doesn't really excite me but that's just because I see it as a little bit unnecessary. It's sort of trying to solve a problem that isn't really there in the first place and being over complicated for very little reason. Of course that's just my opinion though and I'm sure it will be a successful phone being priced much lower than the Fold. Of course that's all the information and estimates we have today but as soon as any solid information comes to light I'll be sharing with you guys straight away but I just wanted to give you my estimations along with these stunning renders that concept artists have already brought together. As always though I'd like to know your guys thoughts in the comments. Who out there is waiting for the Samsung Galaxy Note 20? Are you waiting for the Note 20 or the Note 20 Plus and what do you think of having no ultra model on the Note? But thanks for watching the video if you liked it smash a thumbs up if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.